Travis Kelsey is wide open for a 20 yard or 15 yard touch um touchdown on um, reception. I could see something like that happening. I could see Patrick Mahomes is going to use the Bills emotions against them. And they gave him a big hug when the game is over because they because the more happening is going to be on everybody's mind watching these Bills and the conference finals. They are the new American team in the conference finals. Uh, but Patrick Mahomes is going to, is going to take care of business. He's going to find a way to to get that win. He's going to the Super Bowl. Gi- Giants in San Francisco. Buck stopped there for my Giants, man. My Giants had a, a hell of a year. If my Giants was in the hut like the Detroit Lions and not make the playoffs, what a, my Giants had a hell of a year. The fact that we in the playoffs and the fact that I'm predicting two wins in the playoffs overachieve like crazy, way up ahead of schedule. San Fran just got to me pieces. I I I I'm, I trust Chris, uh, Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel more than I trust Saquon Barkley and Richie James or whoever da- Daniel Jones is going to throw the ball to. San Fran's going to the Super Bowl. So now we got Kansas City and San, Fr- San, Fr- San Francisco 49ers. And even though the Niners got a real, real good defense, I think this is a pretty easy win for, for Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City got just as, just as many as weapons as 49ers. Kansas City got Patrick Mahomes, who's not going to allow the team to lose in the Super Bowl. And I don't know if Brock Purdy could compete Offensively, compete with Patrick Mahomes, because Patrick Mahomes get a touchdown, you need to get a touchdown. If Patrick Mahomes get a, two touchdowns before the half and they, and they get the ball back, you need to get two touch two touchdowns and probably a turnover so you, so you can try to tie the game. You need to put up points to compete because Patrick Mahomes is going to put up points. You know, so I just feel like I don't know Brock, Brock Purdy could. Could go toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes like that. I just don't. I just don't think so. I I don't think it's going to be a blow up. I don't think they're going to win by a touchdown either. I think it's going to be a victory formation. Niners going to spend all that all that time hours to try to try to get the try to get a chance to get the ball back, but they're going to need to get the ball back, score, and probably an onside kick, and then score again when it's like the last two minutes of the game. So. I'm looking at the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl this year. I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes to be Super Bowl MVP. I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes to be um, season MVP. But if you want to give it to Jalen Hurts, you can give it to Jalen Hurts. But Patrick Mahomes, she, he going to get one of these MVPs. And the Kansas City Chiefs are, once again, Super Bowl champions. And Patrick Mahomes got two. Never be, never, never have... Never in his career played anything less than the conference finals, and put in his his name and submit, put in his legacy and submit, I should say. And and probably attempt to go down as one of the best, one of the greatest quarterbacks. It's gonna be hard for him to get the greatest quarterback because I don't see him getting eight championship rings, but definitely top five all time quarterbacks. By the time all this is over with, it seems like that's what Patrick Mahomes is trying to do. So, that's my prediction right there. That's my NFL take. I cannot wait. Starts tomorrow, four four thirty um Eastern time. I'm gonna be able to watch the game like at one something. I, I'm gonna get that game done early, and I cannot wait. The playoffs begins tomorrow. I love this time of the year, man. So, it's hell exciting. Can't wait to, to talk to y'all about it on Monday. I got a few more minutes. Just, just, just a little, a little, little recap on. What's going on in uh, in the NFL and in, in other sports? Cause I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna end up not being back on this microphone to Monday. So I would like to, you know, speak on some things now. Um, it seems like Sean McVay is is playing psych with all of us, and and he's going to return back. 
as the head coach of the Los Angeles Rams. He talked about he just needed some time to reflect, and I guess the, I guess that time was a week. So he'll be back. And people stop with this Matthew Stanford rumors of him retiring. The man, the man is not retiring. Him and Stephen, Steph, Mike Stafford, Matthew Stafford, and and Sean McVay, McVay will be on the Los Angeles Rams next summer, or really that's preseason. So I'll say September. Next September, they will be there. Um, um, in other news. It seemed like the Broncos is starting to move away from the whole, like the whole um, Sean Payton head coaching thing possibility. Maybe they know that there's no way in hell Sean Payton is, go- is going to Denver just to, to coach Russell Wilson. That's 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 ridiculous. So they are they are already on the prowl of getting um, Stanford's old coach David Shaw. When I saw this news, I said, "Wow." The first candidate for head coach a uh, head coaching job is a black man. I don't remember seeing that very often. Like the first can the the first public can, can candidate is a black man. Usually you see a you see a black coach get a job because of the of the um uh, Rooney rule or something or you no know, something like that. Not straight up like, all right, we're going for him. Now I mean obviously he's not really the first. The first is really Sean Payton. But I mean that's that's like come on, Hall of Fame coach. It's nice to see like okay we're gonna go for this guy. I've been seeing a whole bunch of firings. OCs getting fired, head coaches getting fired, GMs getting fired. I haven't seen any. We inter- we're gonna interview this guy. We're gonna we're gonna give we're gonna bring this guy in, until the Broncos, um a couple of days ago or whenever time it was. Till the Broncos did it with David Shaw. So um. We'll see how that goes. Broncos might have a new, a new head coach. They got a black quarterback and a black head coach, possibly. Possibly. So, um, yeah, we'll we we see how that goes. Sean McVay's back. David Shaw is going to get an interview. Sean Payton is, is still on. We still on Sean Payton watch. Um, the Green Bay Packers saying they're not ready to move 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 away from Aaron Rodgers yet. I don't know what the hell they're waiting for. Maybe they really don't have no love for love. Um. Let me see. Yeah, man, it's been a lot going on. A lot, a lot going on. Um, um, I, I, I forgot to mention last episode about about um Derek Carr's, go, you know, goodbye letter to the fans, the fans of of Oakland, Oakland and Las Vegas. You know, show show some show some love for to um Oakland as well. Really, I should say show some love to Las Vegas because he's really a Oakland quarterback. You know what I mean? He's really an open quarterback. But, I mean, maybe now the Raiders front office finally seen what I've been saying about Derek Carr forever. Y'all want this man to be good so bad. I've been saying that forever. I think I said that on the, on the, on the episode of Misunderstood. Y'all want him to be good so bad that y'all trying to create this narrative that he's so good. And he's just, an, just another quarterback. I mean, damn, like... Justin Fields and Lamar Jackson gotta prove themselves, and you know y'all give people De- like Derek Carr nine seasons to do absolutely nothing. And even then, it's like, oh, but he can make another team better, make another team better. I mean, I guess, but it's not really him making another team better. It's really the team is gonna make him a better quarterback. The the coaching is gonna make him a better quarterback. So what team should should he go? I can only think of. I can only think of two teams I could see him on. I could see him on the Niners if they don't want to continue on with Brock Purdy. Actually, three teams. Three teams. I could see him in Miami if they want to move move away from um, from tour. Which it seems like that's what's going to happen. The only reason why Miami to me is not a huge possibility, because I'm thinking they're going to try to they're going to try to go get Lamar Jackson. That's why I'm thinking Miami is going to try to get Lamar Jackson, and and Miami would pay Lamar Jackson two hundred and thirty one or two hundred and thirty point five million dollars guaranteed. Miami would would do that for for Lamar Jackson. 
So I'm I'm looking at Lamar Jackson as actually the next coach of I mean the next quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. But a lot needs to happen for that to happen. I'll, they have to figure out what they're gonna do with Tour. They'll have to try to get them try to get Lamar Jackson away from Baltimore. Cause Baltimore is gonna end up franchise and tag him and all that. So that could that could take that could take seasons before that even before that 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 even have a chance of happening. So. So Derek Carr could end up in Miami because they might say, "Well, we got, we, well, we need somebody. We can't get Lamar. Tour probably shouldn't play football again. We need somebody. Derek Carr. Um, the the third team I, I could see Derek Carr would be really good on is is the New Orleans Saints. Saints need a quarterback, man. Stop, stop with, stop with this whole Jameis Winston thing. With you know, you know, stop." When they brought him in, and they try to they try to sell him to they try to sell they try to sell him to us fans. They try to sell they try to sell him to us when he went to the Saints. Oh man, like he he was learning the Drew Brees, and now he's going to take off and do all this stuff. And he ain't going to be still James Winston, man. He may be older, he may not sneak in crab legs in his pockets no more, but he's still James Winston. Not sold, not sold at all. Time for him to if he don't want to be the bad guy, time for him to go. But. I think offensively they got some pieces. Marcus Th- Marcus Thomas, if he if he could stay healthy, we'll see. You know, I think they got some pieces, and they got they got draft picks. They're gonna be in the draft, and they go they go they could put more of those pieces together. Maybe draft another receiver, or maybe focus on on that defense, and then try to get Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr will be a really good New New Orleans Saint. I think he'll be a really good New Orleans Saint. So between the Saints. The Dolphins and the Niners. I think the the Dolphins and, and the Niners depends on so many things. It depends on on how bad Brock Purdy plays in this in, in, in this playoffs. It depends if they want to move away from Jimmy G. It depends if Miami wants to move away from Tour. It, it's so much of that. So much of that depends where the Saints. It could be wide open. So the Saints to me is the best the best team for for Derek Carr. Because it's wide open, he don't gotta wait. There's no complications. It's like being in a relationship, and you you wanna be with this girl, but she has one of those it's complicated relationships. Then you got this other girl that's like, I'll date you, and she's completely free, live on her own and everything. No 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 crazy no crazy ex boyfriend got her own got her own spot. No you know no kids, so she got no baby daddies and like that. She's she's free. She's just not as attractive as as the other girl. That with, that's that's in a complicated relationship. But if you don't want no drama and you want to just be able to come in and introduce yourself and build from from ground zero, then you want you want to go with that girl. So that's how I feel about the Saints with Derek Carr. If you want to go to a team where there's gonna be no drama, there's no waiting, there's no well we got him, but really we want him. I, I got my new thing, but I'm thinking about my ex. And it's, it's, it's none of that situation. It's straight from the ground up. Is the New Orleans Saints probably the best option for Derek Carr? And plus, with the Saints, you you're not pressured to win Super Bowl, so you can go in the Saints and actually get better with them and make a surprise run in the playoffs in, in a few years. Because ain't nobody look at the Saints thinking Super, Super Bowl contenders. So you so you can go there and you know get better and then make a surprise a, a surprise visit to a Super Bowl and put a hurt on Patrick Mahomes or or whoever. Well, you be you be in the NFC, so on Jalen Hurts and that press guy and whoever, and whoever is is throwing the ball for the San Francisco Niners. So, um, that's what I think. That's what I think he should do. We'll see how that's go. We're gonna keep a keep a strong monitor, keep a strong mo- monitor eye on Derek Carr, and see w- where 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 he goes next. So, um, sadly. Football took over this whole episode. They didn't get a real chance to talk any um any basketball. We you know we had some NBA games on today. You know my 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 Knicks my Knicks won. The Hawks got got a nice at the buzzer with half a second left on 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 the, the on the score clock against the um the Indiana Pacers, making making the 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 rankings for the Knicks and Pacers a, a little bit more separated, which I like, but. The the one the only the only thing I can really say is San Antonio really love love their Spurs, and they play at the 
Alamo Dome Friday night.